So I want to show you guys um, a shingle that is responsible for a lot of total roofs in my career and in many other adjusters' career. I don't know that you're going to see this one a whole lot anymore because it was a thing and it was a defective and it was a it was a major problem 25 years ago when I got started. Okay, this shingle right here is a Certainteed Horizon. Okay, it's a three tab shingle. Okay, you see the keys here. As it, that's the, the the little space between the, each tab, but they put an applique on it to sort of fake it like it was a laminated shingle. And they were these were the absolute garbage shingles. This is what happened to them very very quickly within a year or two of being installed. They would start to look like this. The granules would come off. They crazed like crazy. Um, and people thought they were saving money. Oh, well, let's go with that one. It looks kind of pretty or, you know, I mean, I, why, why do we need to spend all this money on a shingle, right? Well, this shingle was garbage. I think that Certainty got their rear end sued like every five seconds with this one. Um, there's class action lawsuit, so on and so forth. You might see it out in the field. Um, this is a three tab shingle if you do see it. Um, so they, you know, depending on what your estimating guidelines are, I don't know if they're going back now with all 30 years. Um, but if they, if you have to replace like with like, they'd still do sell three tab shingles. Um, not as common, um, but this, that's what this is, right? This is a defective shingle for sure, right? This is absolute garbage. But when you see it, you're like, oh yes, I'm totaling that one, right? Looks, looks kind of nice when it's brand new. I mean, this is probably a new one. A new ish one it's already starting to get crazy there is only one company that provides e o and general liability insurance solely to the insurance industry and that's kaplik they even have drone and cyber coverages download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance that you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster tv you know you, you can have defective shingles Right. So in this case, maybe this section right here, uh, the rest of the shingles look okay, but maybe this section here was something bad with the asphalt mix, right? That they, they impregnated the, the matting with, or the granules weren't, you know, the, the, the machines, hydraulic settings, when they, you know, when they put the, the granules on were slightly off and they just wouldn't stick. Right. And so they get hot. They go through a couple of seasons and they start to like flake off. They delaminate. We call this delaminating, right? Uh, when this happens, not storm damage, right? And if this roof if it is otherwise fine, it's you're going to be hard pressed to total a roof. It's just this is the only thing that you're finding on it. There might be more hail damage in this area because this is deteriorating and falling apart. Um, but it, if you can't make the case for the rest of the roof, you can't say, well, this is unrepairable right here when it's perfectly repairable right here. You probably can't total this one out. This is going to be a repair because you got missing a missing tab there and there, right? This is that certain teed horizon. Um, this is, I'm not even exactly sure what this is. This looks like a uh, part of the shingle detached from its applique because this is right here. I don't know, you're gonna see all kinds of weird stuff. Again, I'm not gonna call this storm damage. This is a, a defect. It's just a bad, bad batch of shingles. Maybe they did something during the installation. It's hard to say. Another thing that you'll notice a lot more obvious is gonna be something called laddering. Here's a better picture of it, right? This is when the installers, instead of going up diagonally, they go up straight up and down. Right, they just kind of like they just do like a, a half of a tab overlap, and you have batches of section lots here of bad shingles mixed in with okay shingles, but it becomes really obvious which shingles are going to wear out a lot faster because they're defective, along with the fact that the contractor didn't install this correctly. Roofs get hot. How does that affect the shingles in relation to hail damage? Click right here to find out.